Nike's decision to pull these red, white, and blue shoes emblazoned with a colonial era flag is whipping up even more controversy. The governor of Arizona threatening to pull incentives for a Nike manufacturing plant in his state, calling Nike's recall a shameful retreat, adding, words cannot express my disappointment at this terrible decision. The future of the facility, which would employ about 500 people, is unclear. According to the Wall Street Journal, former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick spearheaded the call to get Nike to pull the shoe. Citing people familiar with the matter, the report says he was offended by the use of the flag, as were others. In a statement, Nike says its decision to recall the design was based on concerns that it could unintentionally offend and detract from the nation's patriotic holiday. When the iconic brand revealed the shoe late last month, critics spoke out. One writing, Nike, you should be ashamed of this shoe. Another wrote, can't wait for the Confederate Air Max 90s. The so-called Betsy Ross flag, named after the 18th century woman mythologized for designing it, has been flown at some nationalist and American Nazi rallies. Some say it celebrates the time of slavery. While others, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz, are renewing calls for a Nike boycott. Cruz tweeting in part, their shoes represent snide disdain for the American flag. Similar calls were made when Nike partnered with Kaepernick last year in an ad campaign. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. The former quarterback was the first in the NFL to kneel during the national anthem, protesting police brutality and racial injustice. Some burned their shoes and boycotted Nike, while the company saw its sales rise and its stock price surge.